They say that after the library at Alexandria burned, a lot of human knowledge was lost forever. If Google is trying to organize all of the world's information, as you say, how resilient would that information be? Is it possible that all that human knowledge could be invincible forever for all the future if they succeed? Uh, the answer to your, it's a great question. Um, and uh, one of the Google co-founders, uh, Larry Page, has a passion. And his passion is to digitize all of the library books in the world and make them accessible uh, via Google for scholars anywhere in the world, uh, for people who don't have access to a decent library, for people who can't afford to buy a book, um, for anybody. So Google has entered into agreements with Stanford University, the University of Michigan, the New York Public Library, Harvard University, and Oxford to digitize uh, their entire collections and to make those accessible um, via the internet uh, for users all over the world. And uh, Google is saving anything and everything that it can. There's some discussion and debate about the way Google's going about it because some of those are still protected by copyright laws. And some people feel that the authors or the publishers ought to be compensated. But uh, Google is forging ahead. Uh, there's a lawsuit pending over some aspects of this, uh, which will ultimately probably be resolved in the U.S. Supreme Court. It raises fascinating legal issues about who really owns knowledge and information. Uh, but the answer to your question is that, that the Google guys, uh, and Larry Page particularly, has a passion for saving all of the world's knowledge, every PhD thesis, every paper, everything in every one of those libraries, so that anybody anywhere with access to the web, and perhaps access to a phone, uh, as they're developing voice technology now for search, uh, will be able to access it.